Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Messo Terra or continuing series on the Mr. FPJ DE10 Nano Project, and I've got a very fun and extremely exciting video for you guys this evening because over the weekend, Mr. Cast 1.0 from Shane Lynch released. I've actually been testing this in the background on a pre release version, but I wanted to wait to do the video until I knew the software was final. Now that it is out of beta and a full release, I can tell you right now that Mr. Cast is one of the most impressive things I've seen run on Mr. in 2024. I'm here to show you how it works, how to get it set up, and how to enjoy it because wouldn't you want to play doom 2016 in 4x3 mode on a 240p pvm or crt it is absolutely mind-blowingly impressive now to get this application first you need to go through the update process on mr fpj and make sure you have the correct mr main for the groovy mr core i'll leave a link in a video below to explain to you how to do that because i did that a couple weeks ago the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have groovy mr running on your mr fpj because when you use mr Mr. Cast is basically going to be using a same sort of function in the background. So knowing that you have Groovy Mr. set up means I know you can use Mr. Cast. And honestly, Groovy Mr. is also an insanely impressive thing. Getting all of these main games running across Mr. as an analog GPU into a PVM or CRT television is mind-blowingly awesome. Now you need to make sure you do a few things here. Just read through the notes. There's a few issues, and I'm sure those will get ironed out in the future. But honestly, what is here at a 1.0 release is so good you shouldn't wait for any sort of updates. I'll leave a link to the GitHub to download this below. And when you go over to the download page, you're going to see Mr. Cast 1.0, and there's going to be under assets that hotfix 2.zip. That's just a quick hotfix that Shane did a couple nights ago to make sure that everything was buttoned up as far as streaming and CPU usage is concerned. You're going to download that program and unzip it anywhere you want. You're also going to grab that VC++ x86 redistributable above if you don't have that on your system. And if you're not sure whether you do or not chances are you don't now if you do get a virus warning when you try to unzip or download this file just give it an exemption or update your microsoft defender it is a bug in the background i can assure you there's nothing bad about this whatsoever and you'll see here at the start just playing around we're seeing the desktop over on my sony pvm and that is just absolutely wild now of course because these are wildly different resolutions as well as aspect ratios you are going to be tinkering around with this thing running games in windowed can help help sometimes. Some games if they have a 4x3 mode is going to be much more beneficial, but this is just the early days of seeing something like this work. And depending on what you want to put over to your CRT, some games may look better or worse. This old 2D pixel art style game is going to translate super well over to a PVM on the Groovy Mr. Core. And you'll see here in a close-up, don't worry about the slight waviness, I fixed that in another shot. It just looks amazing, but it's not quite perfectly centered on the screen yet. We do have a couple different options to get that a little bit more dialed in but this is going to be a tinkerer's core you are going to be playing around and you'll see here if i just go to the crop options and i will show you all these settings up close a little bit further into the video we can get more of cash cow dx on the screen if we adjust the window we basically have the entire game running here on the pvm in a very close to correct aspect ratio and it is just wild to even see something like that be possible this is such an innovative use of the core now when you open up the mr cast 1.0 software you'll get a little bit of a readme pop up but at the top right hand corner this is where you're going to put your mr fpj's ip address in this is basically what it's targeting then you hit start stream it's going to fail for me because i'm actually just doing a screen capture there and again if you need the ip address of your mr if you go into the menu and push left you're going to get information and you're going to see there the ip address for my mister you can do dynamic ip you can do static ip you can do whatever you want but this ip address is what you're going to put in the top right corner of that box there on mr cast and like i said i'm just not connected right now you're going to see i have different mode line presets the one that i found the most success with getting a rock solid stable image was 320 by 240 ntsc at 60 hertz that's going to be the refresh rate you can select different displays depending on whether or not you have more than one display on your system you can deal with the capture source as far as where it is actually located you can run custom sides you can do rotation if you want to play a tate game over steam anything like that and you're going to have other adjustments if you hit enable preview you're going to see what you're capturing on the window here if you move the mr cast window around it's going to adjust that accordingly and you'll see here we can do almost a full desktop capture as well but of course my laptop is going to be 16 by 10 or a 4 by 3 screen is going to be more more like a square because obviously that is the old version of an aspect ratio we always used. But you get to play around with the application Mr. Cast and that's kind of the fun of it and trust me once you actually get to use this you're going to find that all the adjustments are very quick. 
but just imagine playing Doom 2016 in 4x3 mode on your CRT. And the great thing is, wildly enough, Doom 2016 does have a 4x3 aspect ratio. And an even more fun fact is one of our friends over on the Mr. Discord, Robbie, worked on this game, and somehow it even came out good with his participation. That's just a joke. I like picking fun at Robbie if I get the chance. But as we get a little closer shot of the PVM here, this is just Doom 2016 in such a different manner. And I absolutely love this. And I do plan on doing a full new playthrough of Doom 2016 on my PVM. This is my 14-inch PVM that I use for videos, but I have a 20-inch PVM in my studio that I play my games on, and I think it's going to look absolutely spectacular. Now, your mileage is definitely going to vary. Something like Mother Russia Bleeds here, a decent beat-em-up, but not as good as I had hoped, is always running in 16x9. So there is going to be a situation, if you try to go to 4x3, where you're going to be giving up some screen real estate. Some games may allow you to change the INI settings to run it in 4x3, but that's going to be on a case-by-case -case and game-by-game -game basis. Now, some games that don't really have a 4x3 mode, at least that I can find, still look really good when they're centered because a lot of time all of the action is in that 4x3 aspect ratio on the screen in and of itself. Something like Fez here you can see running on the left in windowed mode, and then I centered that and made it work on my PVM. You just got to see my face there. I don't hide it. I just don't appear that often. This looks insanely good on 4x3, even if it's in 16x9, because honestly, the material we're losing isn't that fundamentally important. But there's so many different mods out there for so many different games. I'm sure there is probably a way to get Fez to run in 4x3 if I did the research, but seeing it run on Groovy Mr. Core, on my Mr. FPJ, off of my laptop, is just something I never expected. And this runs all the way across Ethernet. It is best advised to make sure you hook up your laptop or computer directly to your Mr. FPJ. But anecdotally, I have connected this to my router and I've had perfect luck with that as well. Your mileage may vary. And of course, because this is an analog situation, get a good video cable. It can be different if you're using a PVM or S-Video or component. Use the best signal you have. You're going to get the best experience out of something like this. And as we move back over to the settings menu again, you're going going to see we have different options as far as the video are concerned. Some are going to basically break everything, but you can adjust the analog video position on both the horizontal and the vertical axis. And if you do want audio over Ethernet as well, you just need to go into the audio toggle and put audio on. By default, it's off, and a lot of people seem to think that that means they don't have the audio working. It's just off by default. I kind of wish it was on, but do remember that the Groovy Mr. Core has a lot of different settings, and we can adjust the image up and down on whatever television we're using to give us a little bit more fine adjustment than Mr. Cast is going to give you. But honestly, there's so many different things you can do with Mr. Cast, and I think my favorite example so far is something like you're seeing right now. Sending old 90s television shows over to my Mr. FPGA with the groovy Mr. Core, and then using the analog signal at the back to watch stuff like Pete and Pete on my PVM. Because even though I have DVD box sets, even though you can stream this, there is no better look than a CRT television for these old shows. It's not just down to nostalgia. A lot of the times, the video signals and otherwise were expecting that CRT television television and honestly this just looks so close to being a kid in the 90s and if for any reason you've never watched Pete and Pete before I cannot stress enough this is one of the greatest television shows ever made of any generation just stick with it it is smart it's intelligent and anytime I tell anyone to watch Pete and Pete they seem to enjoy it but we're doing all of this with Mr. FPJ and Mr. Cast and honestly it works so well it starts to feel a little bit like magic you wouldn't think that something like this could be done and it's just showing how versatile Mr. FPGA truly is. People built an analog GPU core within the FPGA, and now Shane Lynch has built software that you can send your desktop signal out to the Groovy Mr. Core and then watch it on a CRT television, whether you're watching something like Pete and Pete, or if you're playing Doom 2016, or any other game you want. Seeing something like this work is just absolutely impressive, and this is all being done by a piece of software that somebody made just for the love of it. And that is the best part. It's another community effort on Mr. FPGA, to give you even more fun and even more use out of your investment. But of course, a lot of people are going to be playing those games, and I don't blame you because seeing them run on a CRT television is great, and honestly, trying to do it with your actual computer and not Mr. is very hard. Because again, seeing Doom run on a CRT television, I absolutely love the look of this. I grew up in the CRT era, I had VGA monitors for my computers, and honestly, that's the look that I always gravitate towards. So if you do everything in this tutorial, if you grab the software, and if you already have Groovy Mr 
set up, but I'll leave a link to that setup video down below. You can use Mr. Cast to send absolutely anything you want from your computer over to your Mr. FPJ, whether it's a game, an arcade game, a MAME core, Pete and Pete, you name it, you can watch it on your CRT. And that is one of the coolest things I've seen so far in 2024. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, if you want to see more Mr. Cast stuff, leave me a comment. Maybe I'll make a second video. Bye-bye.